this series means a lot. It means a lot to me, and it means a lot to this team, these fans, this program, this school, this state. Uh, it means a lot to everybody. The energy the fans bring, the energy the players bring. Um, it's like a regional, super regional type deal every game, every pitch. Being at Clemson, uh, you know, this being my first year, uh, you know, the experience that the team last year had uh, was honestly something that impacted my decision to come here. And, you know, you come to Clemson to play big time baseball and, you know, be in those big situations, win or lose. We got his glove upstairs, he's coming down. Oh, yeah. It's a Let's go, boys. Oh, you're talking like I'm... Are you ready for batting practice? You don't get clown when you miss a ball. adapt to, to nature. Sometimes it don't, doesn't always cooperate and not all stadiums have a dome, so just gotta show and go sometimes, but sometimes you gotta reschedule, so that's what we're doing today. Relax, good. Jump on as quick as can in space. The difference is is you're gonna insert yourself into the most highest leverage situation. High stakes, clutch, game winner, bases loaded, just the most intense environment you can possibly be in. I may ask you, are we, is it a night game or a day game? What color jersey are we wearing? Who are we playing? What's the situation? How many outs? What do you need? Where are the base runners? All right? So you recreate, activate all your senses, recreate this situation in your head and see yourself delivering in the clutch. Yeah, all of the all of the mental game stuff, um, most of it I had seen before but didn't really practice consistently. Um, coming here has become a huge part of my game. Um, at the end of the fall when we when Coach Package put in mental game and I started working on it, I, I really just found you know, a different level of focus and, and confidence in the box and out on the field. And it, I think it really helps, you know, everyone on the team, especially in those big moments. Oh, so whatever movie you know, you have a chance to switch the chair. Oh, here he's coming over to the camera. Oh, no. Who is that? Who is that? God, being a dog dad, what a feeling. Who is that? What's up? Who is that? Say hey. Dog will mess your mind up. You depend on Friday to start, or you depend on the closer to come in and do no runs. runs. Yeah, exactly. So it's like... Kind of comes with the maturation of the game. As a reliever, more than a starter, it's one of those things you got to be ready at all points in time. So, you know, when the weekend starts, you just uh, you pretty much just stay in locked in for every moment you're at the field. Tomorrow is oh, it's about there. Nine thirty team breakfast, depart for team lunch. So we got we got a little bit of time. Saturday morning here at the hotel. We got rained out yesterday. Uh, the feelings are, are really the exact same. We're just excited, ready to go. Uh, we're about to start our rollout for uh, before we get on the bus and get to the field. Uh, we're just excited to like, get this game in. You know, we didn't play yesterday, but we're really looking forward to playing tonight. I want you guys to now have a 1-1-2 one, one, cadence. The inhale, the hold, the exhale while you visualize the success you're going to have. Pitchers, I want to see you visualizing yourself nailing all your spots. Hitters, I want to see you visualizing the approach you just heard about and making fat back contact. 
you have to be able to uh, come back down and be level and, and not get too amped up for the situation and just focus on the task at hand and compete. And I think that's where, you know, Coach Backage putting in mental game just, I think, gives our team an edge. I think it's something that, you know, not a lot of teams do. We didn't, we didn't do a whole lot of that at Davidson. We had, um, we did have a lot of mental, mental skills uh, training, uh, but I think that, you know, Coach Package is, is just an elite leader in the way that he, you know, brings guys together and creates, creates an atmosphere for the team where, you know, you can feel like you can do anything really. And I think that's what makes him a really special leader in person. Those intense moments in close games, uh, it's why you play. Um, I remember coming back into the dugout a few times, high ball game, extra innings, uh, late in the game, you know, where someone needs to step up and make a big time play. It's it's the reason you play. It's the reason you, you know, put all the work in that you do. It's something that really as a baseball player you live for and you look forward to and, and something that you welcome. You, you have a different level of appreciation for those moments that come up in games. You know, the games last night in the Tennessee game felt eerily similar at some point. The 2-2 to Denton. Well hit, deep left field, it is gone! Last year's team set the standard as far as what needs to happen on and off the field, what needs to happen, how, they, how do we need to play, what, what type of energy do we need to play with postseason, you know, I felt like th there was kind of a low expectation for us with the new staff coming in and uh, that would fit the profile of a Clemson baseball player. You know, that wasn't our standard, and that wasn't our goal. Was Our goal was to, to be in Omaha. Get out and missed! Clemson crown champions of the ACC championship! Congratulations to the Clemson Tigers! A heartbreaker in Tennessee really, really sung us a good bit, but you know, we're going to be in that situation plenty of times over the next couple years. Nothing against our team, you know, last year or before, but like I said, the Tennessee game felt like a benchmark, it was kind of like a moving forward. We're never not going to be that team, uh, always, you know, competing till the very end, no matter what. And uh, felt very colorful last night, us as a team here. Beat it to the end. Tigers had barreled one up since Hinderlider's homer in the eighth. 2-0 to Chufo. Hit well. Left center field. Does it have enough? Brewer back to the wall. Look it up. We'll see you tomorrow. Andrew Chufo, the defensive hero of the game at short. Goes yard. Bro, that ball, that ball. That ball is smashed. Double plays. Dive and play is you hard. You the hardest out. He's probably, he's probably just exhausted and still trying to process what's going on. Hey, team is the hardest. <laughs>
That's what we do here at Clemson is play ball. It's as simple as that. We call this field the playground for a reason. And, uh, you know, just bringing back that memory as a kid. Just having fun on the field, treating it like a kid's game. You know, I'm just happy to be a part of something so special this weekend. I was out the pen this weekend, didn't end up throwing, but I was always behind my teammates. Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't a s single man job. I mean, everybody had to do their part, and that's what happened. Our pitching staff was amazing this weekend. Uh, Tristan Smith, Aiden Kanag, they both gave us great, great starts, did, did their job, they're very good. And then the guys behind them, I mean, you got Nick Clayton, Rob Hughes, uh, Matthew Marshall, Matthew pitched like 25 pitches, 30, 30 pitches yesterday, comes out here today and gets a big out when we needed it. We didn't let them out compete us. When we went up there, we did our thing. To win a series like this mean, means everything. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to this community, it means a lot to these, these fans, this school. And this is the standard that, that Clemson baseball is getting back to. We're going to Omaha. That's, that's been the expectation since we stepped foot on campus. And it's something that, you know, we have at the front of our minds, but at the same time, uh, like Coach Backage said, you know, the season, isn't a marathon, it's a sprint with no finish line. You can't win in June until you win the midweek games, the, the, the games early March, April, May, uh, June. You know, everybody wants to focus on Omaha, but it'll come here. We take care of our season. 